might sound a bit corny, but probably my dad. Um, unfortunately, I lost him about 11 or 12 years ago. So uh, I'm on a sporting front. Uh, I love rugby league and cricket as a kid. So I loved uh, growing up in sort of southwest of Sydney. I love Steve War and, and Terry Lamb. I was a Bulldog supporter. So number two biggest uh, sporting fans as a kid. Look, I spent a few years in, in sales, worked with uh, Coca-Cola and Schweppes, uh, and, and enjoyed both of that. So oh, I enjoyed that. So I'd probably probably be back in that, but uh, but love rugby league a lot more. Yeah, I do. It's it's Man City. Uh, followed him for about three or four years. That's sort of when I started following football. I even took up playing it a couple of years ago in Australia, which um, I thought I was going to be great at. I was hopeless, but uh, enjoy it, and, and I enjoy the game. Um, you don't have a lot of it here, but sushi. I love sushi, and uh, it's hard to come by. First car, I think I had an old uh, Datsun 180Y, but... But it had twin carbies, so I used to motor for a little car. A point break, I love that. The original one, not the recent one. The, I love the uh, character Bodie in that, so I was a big point break fan. Best moment of rugby league. I didn't have too many highlights as a player, so um, not too sure on that. I got into uh, a semi-professional level as a captain coach, which started my coaching career in and won the comp there, so that was probably a, a proud moment to be uh, captain and coach and win a competition. It's pretty good. I'll give you a short version. I played a first grade game one day for Newcastle against Brisbane and got me in a match we happened to win. A week later, Andrew Johns come back in from origin duty and I played reserve grade in Canberra. They moved the game because it was snowing and we got beat by 50 and it was horrible, so that would be my worst moment. A week after a highlight, got brought straight back down to work. Currently, love Bruno Mars, he's pretty cool, but I, I, like, uh, I like all music. I'm not sure. I've played at a few different places, and I think everyone's great in our game. So, yeah, I haven't, haven't really got a, a best one in rugby. I like lots of people. Always a battle between Batman and Superman, but um, the fact Superman can fly, that's pretty cool, so I'll run with Superman. I've been to one for a lot of years. I think my wife and I went to Black Eyed Peas about 10 years ago, 15 years ago, so I'll have to run with that. The only series I actually watched in the last 10 years would be Narcos. I got hold of that, watched a few series of that, so a big fan of that. And Rugby, rugby AM's fantastic. I watch that every week. It's, it goes 12 months of the year too, if anyone's unsure. It's on every week. go on a holiday to uh, what I call the Maldives, but it's pronounced Maldives as I've been told, so uh, I'd like to go somewhere like that. Back home, I, I tend to go to Bali a lot. I've been there five, five or six times, I think, so I love the uh, relaxed nature of, of Bali, so that and Fiji, both very similar, so it's good. I think Andrew Johns, you know, was, even though he's a similar age, I just love watching him play the game. You know, I just think he uh, he could do anything needed to win a game. It wasn't just his run or his pass. He could kick and he could put big hits on as well. So I loved, uh, I love watching Joey play. I don't get out much. So we got four young kids at home, so we tend not to eat out at restaurants. So uh, Nando's is my go-to in St. Helens. I'm, I'm there once a week. <laughs> <laughs>